What's up, everybody, and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Today, we're going to look at the agility attribute, and we're going to see if each one of those perks is working. Additionally, I'm going to dive in a little bit more with this perk and show you some things that you may have either looked over about this perk or not have known at all. One of the things that you gain with this perk isn't communicated at all, and the other one is there, but a lot of people have probably overlooked it. So the first perk in the list is Iron Endurance. Sprinting drains less stamina. So the way we're going to test this is I'm just going to run these foundations and see how far we get. Now you can see off in the distance, I have a couple of signs. That's because I've already run this test to get the foundations all set up and make sure that I had enough. So as we reach this sign, we run out of stamina. This is without the perk at all. This is where we make it to a total of 42 foundations. Now we're gonna give ourselves that first perk in agility there. You can see Iron Endurance is activated and we're gonna run this again. As you can tell, I do have a sign posted farther along. That is where we're going to end up running out of endurance or running out of stamina. And we will stop next to that sign and I'll show you how many foundations that is. So there we go, we've run out of stamina, and it is approximately 53 foundations. Obviously, I stopped a little bit early, but that is essentially how much further you can run about the distance of 11 foundations. Now, I know many of you may be wondering how does grit affect this, so I'm just going to show you real quick. If I put three points into grit and I run this again, does it actually mean that I can run farther? And the answer is absolutely, you will be able to run farther with more stamina. So those two attributes do work off of each other. As you can see, I've blown past those signs and I can continue on past the end of my foundations. Okay, on to the next perk here, and that is cat-like falling damage is halved. So what we're going to do is jump off of this before we have the perk, and we'll see how much health we have left. So we have a total of 23 health points out of 200 left over. So the first jump took 178 hit points when I landed. So that's a lot of hit points. Now we're going to go in. We are going to buy that second perk and see if it's halved. Let's go ahead and jump off the edge here. And we went down to 111, which is 89 hit points. That's exactly half of 178. So the next one in the list, number three, is effortless leap. Jumping has no stamina cost. So... If we jump, we use eight stamina. You can see that there, eight stamina is used. If we go back in, we buy that next perk. We now have effortless leap and we jump again. You can see there is a no stamina loss. Going into the next one, nimble tumbler, when dodging your armor counts as double. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have been paying attention to these stats on my screen, but if I go up to stats and I look at my damage reduction, I currently have a 32 damage reduction. Back to my inventory, I have 120 armor. So as I'm leveling up agility, it's actually giving me armor. And some of you may not have read it up here, but it says it also has a direct effect on armor. So this perk is going to give you a natural armor. So even without wearing armor, you are gaining armor from agility. This was actually an easy one to test. If you look at the top left corner, you'll see that it actually displays my armor at 120 points and a 32% damage reduction. As I roll, you'll actually be able to see those numbers bump up. So you can see I'm rolling now and that is not changing. So if I go back in here and I purchase this perk, that's going to give us the nimble tumbler there. And then I have 160 armor, 39% damage reduction. But when I roll, you can see it doubles. So it happens really fast. Pay attention. It goes up to 320 every time that I roll. Now, on to the last one of the list, extended leap. Jump while in air to do a second jump. Now, don't leave when I'm done explaining this because I still have something very important to show you about this perk. But let's go ahead and purchase that last perk. We now have it. 
and if we jump and jump again we are doing a double jump now it does not give you a double the height so let's actually see if we can jump over our own npc's head let's see if that works we will jump and jump again we kind of we kind of went over it not really there we go we landed on her head and then went off but it does not give you a double sized jump it is only going to give you the extra little bit so can we jump up on the foundation with the double jump let's see and almost to the top we did still have to crawl up so jump jump we might be able to do it if i can time this correctly let's go right now nope doesn't look like we can make it over a full foundation however the half wall height here i can make it over that no issues and as you can see that double jump is not costing us any stamina at all so you do get both of those jumps Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you here is how agility actually affects your ability to react. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll and automatically swing at the same time. So essentially roll then swing and we're going to see how long it takes. So if I roll and swing, there we go. That's as quick as it goes. Let's go to the first perk and we will roll and swing. It's a little bit shorter. Let's look at it again roll and swing it's a little bit shorter than the first one if we move on you'll be actually be able to see a more drastic difference so roll and swing it's a little bit shorter there meaning that you can actually get back into the fight quicker so you can roll and then swing and a little bit faster there we'll do another perk roll and swing look at how fast that one is and let's go one more time roll and swing there we go so let me show you what it looks like with no perks in agility and then five perks in agility. And I'll put those side by side so you can see how much difference that roll swing is with all that agility. So there you go. All five perks in agility are working as intended. And I hope you guys got some good information from the roll test as well, being able to see how much faster that is and the fact that agility gives you natural defense or natural armor. You guys let me know in the comment section below if any of that information is new to you. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.